Hey everybody, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this modern, asymmetrical, abstract cake that featured some gold chocolate shards, one-step gold cho chocolate shards, some rice paper decorations, and a few little gold eggs signifying Easter. So, first of all, let's go ahead and get our cake ready to be decorated. Now I'm starting with an already crumb coated six inch four layer cake coated and crumb coated in a dark chocolate, dark chocolate ganache and I had set it in the refrigerator to chill for about 20 minutes and then I brought it out and I am applying my white American buttercream and I will attach a link on how I made this buttercream and then I'm just smoothing it out. I'm using my very tall scraper to smooth out the sides and bring that top lip of buttercream into the middle. Now set it in your refrigerator for 20 minutes you know, while you work on the rest of this. Um, and I'm using some rice paper just dipped in, this is just warm tap water. Now the trick to this is that you want it to sit in there just long enough to soften up but not so long that it sticks to itself so much that you can't work with it. And I just have some wrinkled up parchment paper that I am draping that piece on because I wanted it to have some folds, some um, ruffling almost. I wanted it to have some movement. I really, really like some movement in my decorations. And then I just rolled up a towel, a bath towel, rolled it up, I put a silicone mat over the top of it. And then I am putting these pieces of rice paper over the top because I want it to dry in the shape of that, of the rolled up towel. Now I moved on to my chocolate, but let me just say, I did put it in a preheated oven in the lowest setting possible to kind of speed up the whole drying process of that decoration. But this is how I'm doing the chocolate in one step. What I am using is silicone mats and some silicone molds just brushed with my gold luster dust that I like to use and I will attach a link for that as well with just a big fluffy brush a cake dedicated brush now the point here is to get your surface coated with this luster dust make sure you get all the way up to the the uh, top ledge of this mold so that you have full coverage of that gold now, I did two different sizes of the eggs because I wanted to make some whole eggs and then some half ones and I just melted my, this is dark chocolate, in the microwave in 30 second intervals on 50% heat. You can also do a, a water bath if you want to, to melt that chocolate, if that's what you prefer. A ban marie, I think is what that's called. Um, and then I am doing a very, very thin layer because I almost wanted these to look like very delicate shards of kind of indistinguishable what it's actually made out of when you see the decoration. So I made this very thin, which has a very neat look, but it also comes with some issues. And I will show you that in a second here. Now I've just put it on my silicone mat and I'm just using these safety pins or these clothes pins to just kind of give it some movement. And now I did the same on my other piece of my other um, silicone mat. I had extra chocolate, so I went ahead and did that. Now to get the chocolate eggs, I just went ahead and put that same chocolate into a piping bag, cut a very small hole in the tip, and then I'm just piping it into the silicone molds, about two thirds of the way up. Because what you'll see me doing is I am going to spread it with another brush to get it all the way to the top ledge of these molds. And I use just regular chocolate, uh, chocolate chips in this because I'm not worried about needing to temper this since it's going to have a gold coating. So I just went ahead and used just my regular chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips. And I'm just using a clean brush, clean dry brush to brush that chocolate up to the top upper edge of these molds. Now make sure that you're not brushing on through the chocolate because then you will incorporate some of your gold into the chocolate and you don't wanna do that. So I just tipped them upside down in, on top of a tray so that the excess chocolate drips down and that will give you a nice edge to your um, eggs as well, which just help you later on in the process. 
Now I did struggle a little bit to get those the chocolate off of that mat and I went ahead and I put it in the freezer is what I did. It had been in the refrigerator and it needed to firm up a little bit since it is so delicate. I needed it to be colder to remove them. But in the meantime, I went ahead and I removed my cooled eggs. And then I just removed that extra. If you have a lip of chocolate around the outside edge, just go ahead and use your X-Acto knife and just kind of um, shave that off a little bit. Now to get the smaller eggs into the shape of an egg, the, the smaller halves, I just went ahead and I heated up my plate in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then I'm just using that to melt the very back side of those and stick them to each other. And then just go back into in with your gold luster dust and kind of just blend in that line where the two pieces meet. My original idea was to have one or two of the larger eggs in the whole egg shape as well, but I forgot that those, that silicone mold, the shape of it is not exactly um, a half of an egg. They're a little bit thicker and that actually, it didn't look right when I tried to put the two pieces together. So I just left those as half ones well, half, so to speak. And then I went ahead and I brought the chocolate back out from the freezer and I'm very gingerly, carefully removing the pieces of chocolate. I really just wanted a few larger pieces and a few shards as well, smaller pieces. And that's exactly what I got. If you are wanting to get this off in one piece in a more guaranteed way, you're gonna need to do a thicker coating of chocolate, just FYI. But this is what I was going for, so it was fine. And then I just went ahead and I dusted these a little with a little bit more gold luster. But isn't that neat how you remove them from the silicone and the gold is already attached. So you don't have to worry about using any vodka, any, um, any kind of alcohol whatsoever, anything else to get these coated in gold. And then I have my rice paper. I'm sorry. No, this is rice paper. I always get them screwed up, always backwards. Um, and I'm just pulling that parchment paper off as gently as you can. The trick with these is to not put them in the oven so long that they get completely dried out. I found I find that if you get them about three-fourths of the way dry, just dry enough so that you can remove the parchment paper but they still have some flexibility, that is the best way to get them to conform to the shape of your cake. Otherwise, they get brittle and they break. And I'm just attaching this to the buttercream with some more buttercream and then I'm using some toothpicks to hold them in place until it... Um, I don't want to say dries, but in, until it sets up is the word I'm looking for. And then I went ahead and I'm doing a textured buttercream with just an offset um, spatula. This is an, actually a craft knight or an, an art, a paint knife. And I only use it for cakes. And what you do is you spread a thin layer of buttercream on your plate or on, um, you could do it on a, just a tray or um a sheet pan, that's fine too. A thin coat of buttercream and then you're gonna use your offset knife and kind of scrape it off. And then when you place it on the cake, you kind of, it's hard for me to say, to describe it. It's easier to show, but you just kind of, you push it so that it pushes out behind it and then it smooths down thinner as you go. And then just do a few of them in a row. And then I just used some of my dragees, some gold and some pearl dragees to just kind of accent those a little bit. And the buttercream was starting to come more to room temperature, so there was a little condensation, which means I didn't have to add anything to get those dragees to stick. Now here is where I'm adding the eggs. I could have done without these eggs, but since Easter's coming, I kind of wanted to incorporate Easter a little bit. Either way. Um, and then I wanted to put my larger chocolate shard flag, whatever sale, there's different words you can use to describe this, chocolate decoration on the top. And I just kind of carved out a line in the buttercream and I'm using piped buttercream on the back of that after you kind of shove it gently into that slit that you cut anchor it with a little bit of buttercream behind it. And then I'm just kind of lining up my other pieces, just attaching with buttercream. And then to tie it all together, I added some, I did use some Everclear in this to make a paint out of it, to get it to stick into a paint, a paintable consistency for the, the, um, the wrap, 
around and then I kind of touched the raised edge on that buttercream texture as well. So there you go guys. This is a very abstract design with a lot going on, but it's all incorporated and blends together because you have cohesive color. The gold and then the chocolate decorations bring it together and then the buttercream texture all together, I think make for a very unique design. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to Check out my other social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.